so um, if you do have your Bible, uh, oh, no, never mind, you guys can't read. Okay. So we're going to read from Luke chapter 2, 8 through 15. It says, And in the same region there were shepherds out on a field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And by an, and, and an angel of the Lord appeared to them in the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news and joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in, this, in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there, there was with the angel a multitude of he heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is, is pleased. When the angels went, went away from them into into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, "Let's go. Let us go to, over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which is Lord, which is the Lord that has made to know us." So first, they talk to shepherds. So shepherds are just like, um, just not like a really popular job. They're they're like. They take care of like sheep and stuff. They're almost like a farmer, but they mostly just take care of sheep. It's not really the best job ever, but it's like a really dirty job. You have to like take care of the sheep. It's like yeah, so it's like a job that nobody really wants to do. But it's 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 good to know that God will come to anybody. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what job you have. He will come to you. Um, even if so, he, he talked to the shepherds, even though they weren't like the greatest people, they weren't like the cleanest people, the richest people. He still wants to talk to them because he believes that they will they will go and see them and see them. And then, while this angel is talking to them, the the angels of the Lord said, "Do not be afraid." It shows that sometimes when God wants us to do something and speaks, it's okay to be afraid, even though we feel like it's not to be afraid. We don't want to be afraid that it's God. But we realize who is talking. When they realized who was talking to them, they were no longer afraid because they knew that God was with them. When we when we are getting a message from God, we don't have to be afraid. All we have to do is just follow the message that God gives us. So if God says, oh, if, if, you, if you go to that person over there, they're really struggling and like just maybe help them out or something, then like if you do it, something will come back to you and, and pay them. So they said, let us go and see the, the Lord and the major. So obviously what our lesson is called is let us go. So like in, in Frozen, um, what's her name? El Elsa. Elsa sings like let 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 it go. So she's saying like just let let it go. And then they're saying let us go and see the Lord sa of our Savior. They're, they were they, they weren't just going for fun. They were going to worship them. They were, they weren't going because oh the angels told them they were going because they wanted to worship them. When they said, let us go, they were saying, let us go worship them. They weren't worried about where they were going. They were just worried about, about going to worship Jesus. So that's how we have to be sometimes. We have to be, oh, I'm just going to go to church because I want to see my friends. No, we have to be here to worship him and praise him for everything he's done. We are able to worship him wherever we are. Even if we're in church at our house at school, you always have to. You can always worship him. The great, 
even though we can't go and see where he was born and worship him, we can still worship him in our everyday lives. Sometimes we find other things to do in life that let us forget that we're supposed to worship God and that we can go together and worship Jesus all together as a family.